hi guys how you doing so today i got a special package actually i got the package yesterday from youtube black and it's really exciting three boxes one of them contained drinks and you know everything for mixologists okay <laughs> including limes i think an apron and you know shakers and stuff for making cocktails the other box had you know the cocktail mix inside the drinks and all of that and then this third box which is which was the heaviest it had ingredients in it and the ingredients is for us to cook our own food hey you guys hey so we have two recipes here one was somali fried rice and the other one was something gumbo is it here okay veggie gumbo um, so the veggie gumbo, they put potatoes and stuff for it, potatoes, bell peppers and stuff. While for the Somali fried rice, they have other ingredients as well. Um, things like basmati rice. Okay, sell basmati rice. So this is basmati rice. They just packaged it the way I see HelloFresh packaged food. And last week or two weeks ago, actually last week, I was asking my husband why we don't have an alternative to HelloFresh in Nigeria. People in Lagos, I'm sure you could have something like that, but we don't have it in Port Harcourt. But anyway, so these are my, this is my recipe card. I don't even know what uh, Somali fried rice tastes like. Oh, I don't know what it tastes like. So if I don't cook it well, if I don't, if if it doesn't taste like it should taste, I won't even know because I've never eaten it before. So I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. But I'm excited to get cooking. It sounds simple. Um, yeah, so the tomato fried rice, it did not come with any meat. The package did not come with any meat. So I'm thinking it's because of maybe logistic issues, you know, they will have to freeze meat and how would they send it, you know. So it didn't come with any meat. But I have my own chicken here. So I have chicken boiling because I must, my, there must be meat inside my food. I don't know if the food is vegetarian, but that one no concern me. So I have my chicken here. All these ingredients I'm seeing. I'm seeing food coloring. Okay, see food coloring, we have pink. Is this pink or orange? Orange and green food coloring. We also have cinnamon, cumin, ground coriander. Um, uh, what is all this one? Raisins. <laughs> we have raisins here. Uh, there's also chopped tomatoes. Okay, I think it's the tomatoes I'll use. No, 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 this one's for the gumbo. You know, they even package onions and this is garlic tomatoes ginger and this is olive oil exactly the type that i have and so many things here anyway let me just get to cooking i don't know i've never done anything like this before so i'm a little bit nervous so i also got this um chopping board so they gave us this chopping board and it says voices creator at this space maybe i'll just start boiling the rice okay no let me start chopping the um, ingredients first. See my sisters here. Say hi. Hi. So you see that I'll do the chopping. Me, I'll do the supervising. <laughs> but we're not chopping much. I think it's just this. Oh, just chop this. Yeah, yeah, and that. I think we great this ginger. I don't know what they said. Okay, start by washing your rice until the water is clear.
Nothing is good. And from what I've tasted, it actually tastes good. Although it feels incomplete, yeah. The rice is ready and it looks really good but I had to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of chicken stock just so that it will have more flavor. I feel like it was tasting a, bit, a little bit bland. Maybe I'm the one that added too much rice. Maybe the rice was too much for the sauce but whatever it is, I've remedied it by adding a little bit more salt and a little bit more chicken stock. So right now it doesn't look exactly how it looked when I first cooked it because you know adding chicken stock putting it back on fire and then turning it it did you not know, the colors mix basically the colors mix but as for the taste it still tastes almost the same as it tasted before but you know just a little bit with a little bit more salt okay and then yeah as a typical Nigerian that I am I am frying plantain because I'm going to serve it with plantain and chicken I already fried my chicken And I also like this basmati rice. There's in the rice itself. This was delicious. So guys, this rice is definitely a hit. I am most definitely going to cook it again. And again, I'll just try and keep that recipe. Where's that recipe paper? Ebo, where is it? Okay, it's here. I'm going to keep it very well. I'm sure that after I cook it like three or four or five times, I'll master it very well. But mm. the caramelized onions gives it an extra flavor, right? Especially when you bite into the onions itself, it gives it an extra flavor. I definitely tasted, you know, one or two raisins, but I feel like I didn't put enough because yeah the raisins are quite scarce but i didn't want to put too much because i wasn't sure how it was going to taste overall if i put too much you know raisin so but i'll definitely increase the number of raisins i put next time and then the food coloring definitely added a nice color to it maybe i should try green next time but i feel like red looks better so maybe i'll try green next time but yeah i'm going to leave the recipe for this food in the description box i'll most likely use a uh, picture to text because i don't see myself typing out all these things you know but i'll put the recipe in the description box in case you want to try it oh they told us quantity of rice one cup of basmati rice <laughs> it's supposed to be one cup of basmati rice okay now mm -hmm. one we, uh, we cooked everything and one cookies but i did not see this one cup i only saw Let me see. Let me see one cup anyway the rice turned out good and i really like it but next time i'll reduce the quantity of rice that i use for it anyway thank you for watching let me know if you enjoyed watching this video and if you want me to do more videos like this because i have more recipes that i want to try but yeah let me know if you like videos like this and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys